Nitin. He's one of the best teachers for teaching Vishnu Sasnama chantings. He's having twice a week. So all, all, all can join in a very convenient time, afternoon. Yeah, okay, Uncle. Mat pita tum mere, mere prabhu, mere guru. Mat pita tum mere, mere prabhu, mere guru. Jo hai aur jo hai nahi. सब कुछ तुम हो सतगुरु मात पिता तुम मेरे मेरे प्रभु मेरे गुरु जो है और जो है नहीं सब कुछ तुम हो सतगुरु मात पिता तुम मेरे माने दिया जन्म पिता ने दिया है नाम माने दिया जन्म पिता ने दिया है नाम अनदेखी एक दिशा बुलाती सुबह हो शाम अनदेखी एक दिशा बुलाती सुबह हो शाम हर दिशा में अब तुम हो किस दिशा को नमन करो जो है और जो है नहीं सब कुछ तुम हो सतगुरु मात पिता तुम मेरे मेरे प्रभु मेरे गुरु जो है और जो है नहीं सब कुछ तुम हो सतगुरु सासों की ये डोर अभी शुरू अभी खत्म सासों की ये डोर अभी शुरू अभी खत्म ये डोर पकड़ कर तुम तक आ जाओ अब करूं यही जतन ये डोर पकड़ कर तुम तक आ जाऊ अब करूं यही जतन हो गया है जिसका अंत और हुआ जो नहीं शुरू जो है और जो है नहीं सब कुछ तुम हो सतगुरु मात पिता तुम मेरे मेरे प्रभु मेरे गुरु जो है और जो है नहीं सब कुछ तुम हो सतगुरु सब कुछ तुम हो सतगुरु सब कुछ तुम हो सतगुरु हरिओम सहना सहना सह वीर्यम करवाजस्वीतमस्तुमाषा वै ओ गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरु विष्णु गुरुर्देवो महेश्वर गुरुरेव अर ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव वसुदेवसुत 
Okay, before uh, we go to the class, we have to get best results, dividends for our work. All of us are putting so much of effort into Vedanta also, but have we got the dividend? Have we found a, a state where nothing disturbs us? Somebody calls you a fool. There are various ways of dealing with it. Call him back or give him, thrash him or keep quiet, mentally go on thinking about it. Ah, the last, it doesn't even touch you. That is the state. Or we, have we come to that? We want recognition, everything. For everything we want. Recognition belongs to ego. Recognition belongs to ego. Can ego and God be together? Simple. Recognition, I want recognition, belongs to ego. Can ego and God be together? Where one is, the other is not. We are not practicing it. We are talking about it. We are giving lectures on that. But we are not practicing. See, most of the labor class, working class, they have the, the correct best attitude towards life. They are humble. They accept destiny. They believe in God. They do their duty. But they don't have the knowledge. So their progress is only to a certain extent. Because they have a pure mind. To that extent the progress is there. But they can't get the ultimate. We have the knowledge. But we don't have their attitude. We don't also get blessed. At least for them, they have peace and God takes into account their goodness. For us, even that is not there. Right? Now, you need their attitude, you need the knowledge, even that is not enough. You need the commitment. That is, for us today, Everything and God also. Everything, name, fame, right? That is the worst thing. Money is not bad. If there is no ego, you must earn as much money as possible to serve Narayana. You must maximize your potentiality. Money is not bad. The worst thing is ego. I means I am this, I am the doer, I did this, I did that, you know, I have mastered Shankar Bhashya, I can talk fluently in Sanskrit, so what, so what, it happened to me practically, I was coming from Kapali temple to house Vaya Sai Baba temple. That day there was a heavy traffic jam. In that, one fellow wanted to cut my car. I didn't allow him. I was going on without allowing him. A normal, you know, cycle rickshaw fellow comes and says, Sir, why are you trying to compete with him? Where is he? Where am I? Tell me. 
it happened to me right so similarly you need their attitude you need the knowledge more than that god should be your priority as long as you want recognition world is your priority you cannot have two dimensions at the same time sleep also waking god is beyond the three dimensions sleep waking and dream you can't have these three things there so ego even a little keeps you away from god so why am i spending this much time before the class because we have to get the results classes in a number of classes so what we have to get the results ramana bhagwan didn't study anything systematically not only he many people that came to him are all villagers some madaliyar some reddiyar some annamale none of them but all of them are gnanis all of them are gnanis how can we waste our life without finding this or any one of us comfortable in our life without thinking of the next moment and worry we are any one of us free from thinking next minute right what is the point with all you have possessions everything your mind is all the time what will happen what will happen why should do this what is the point you are not free so that is why I, in all my classes i give this uh, top priority my first 20 minutes is spent on this right and today i made it even more clearer unless we come to that stage let us stop studying do not the books to a library live like an ordinary man get kicks and slowly develop slowly develop and nowhere money is against spiritual nowhere you need it you have to produce it because gurudev says you can you can give without loving but you can't love without giving so when you love all you would like to serve all everybody's problem is your problem without yourself having anything what will you do you should produce as much as possible money is yeah, yeah, it's not against spirituality your sense of ego that is your worst enemy you have to tackle that that's all the whole spirituality you understand this don't come to class for next week on words because this is all you have to now let me take the text then up of gas so all of us will find fulfillment only when you gain that which is full by gaining anything which is not complete any amount you get you will not be full that was episode will come next week maitri as yagnavalkya it will come next week i just will tell you now yagnavalkya because yagnavalkya says i am going i am going to vana prastha i i am dividing my property to you and katyayani katyayani said good good riddance bad rubbish maitri asked can with the money that you give can i find immortality total happiness he said there is no no chance amrita was yeah amrita kya aasha vitena nasti 
ಅಮೃತಸ್ಯ ಆಶಾ ಹೋಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಮೃತ ವಿದ್ಯೆ ನ ಥ್ರೂ ಮನಿ ನಾಶ ನ ಆಶಾ ಅಸ್ತಿ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಪಾಸಿಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಅಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಅಮೃತಸ್ಯ ಆಶಾ ವಿದ್ಯೆ ನಾಸ್ತಿ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಬ್ಸಲ್ಯೂಟ್ ನೋ ಪರ್ ವಿತ್ ಡಸನ್ ಮೀನ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಮನಿ ವಿತ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಮೀನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಪಾಪ್ಯುಲಾರಿಟಿ ಯುವರ್ ಪವರ್ ಯುವರ್ ಎರುಡಿಷನ್ ವಿತ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿಸ್ you cannot have immortality peace and bliss then how will i get it please this two minutes what i am going to say you have heard thousand times but today you will hear it from me with full attention you have heard thousand times if vitta cannot give me what else will give me vitta i said is not merely money money power education knowledge family pedigree honor reputation all that is vitta through that you cannot get immortality how will i get it drop all that you will get it drop your mind with all that not drop all that drop your mind with all that you will get because your mind with them is covering already what you are that immortal that blissful you are already that but it's covering the mind is covering with preoccupations of wanting recognition even chinmaya mission uh, dintima comes you know every month right i see in that whether my name is there my program you understand so how will i get peace if this is what i am how will i get peace whether somebody has mentioned my name or not why do you need anybody's recognition the very moment that you are wanting recognition from somebody you have put, already put them in a higher pedestal than you so you have humiliated yourself then why not others humiliate you have already humiliated why do i need anybody's recognition no that is all right that also many people they say it's okay some sattvic people but they are hurt when they uh, rebuke them even that should not affect you. if it is real what they rebuke you should accept yes that's what i am i'll try to change i am trying to change god will take care of me if it is not real why should you worry so you were preoccupation with all things that are finite are covering the infinite that you are so you don't have to do anything remove all the curtains remove all the curtains you want to go to sleep what you have to do you want to sleep i just go go on watching tv i will sleep you have to leave tv to sleep i will go on talking on phone i will sleep you have to leave the phone then sleep if you want to sleep you have to leave everything with one thought i want to sleep and when you go to bed if you maintain that i want to sleep i want to sleep you won't sleep drop that thought also so when you drop all your preoccupations with past present future all your cares all your cares and recognize that consciousness that you are that is the lord your peace it just your choice do not blame your destiny do not blame your gurus do not blame anybody else my destiny is like that nothing rubbish whatever may be your destiny you can be that you know gurudev has written in 
one of the books when uh, somebody went to badri there was a saint his body is whole thing is peeled off all complete peeled off skin and therefore maggots were sitting on that one of the maggots fell this man takes that maggot and puts on his body you understand one of the maggots fell from the body he takes it and puts on that you have to come to that state it doesn't depend upon your money it doesn't depend upon your reputation it doesn't depend upon your past or future it depends upon what you choose to be if you want yourself to be associated with all ephemeral finite things you will only get that and if you want that uh, infinite blissful state you will get that together you cannot be at the same time associated physically you can be also nothing wrong identification you have to drop this process of dropping is all religion because you can't drop all at one time mind is clouded so gradually change change its direction first reduce the quantity gurudev swars quantity through karma nishkama karma then quality through devotion then direction nana karma bhakti nana gradually you have to go purify and contemplate that is the majority of the topic in rudharanika and katha upanishad both belong to the uh, 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 what, what uh, uh, yajurveda both belong to yajurveda right katha upanishad rudharana upanishad both purify yourself contemplate on god you will discover you are all that what you are searching this is a lovely book in english by paul scott alchemist that man goes on searching everywhere for guru and all that on treasury treasury he wants well finally goes from guru to guru and all that and finally somebody says dig where you are standing he digs and he finds all treasure same thing run 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 set 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 stop all that just turn your attention to this you are that you are that all of us can talk on that give lectures on that of all the people i am talking because most of them are seniors and the, even the antaryam is here right all of them there is not one word that i am saying they don't know everybody knows it but in living we do not follow we do not follow so this preferring the infinite to the finite should be our only goal of life everything else to help that you need money for that you need education for that you need uh, your comfort for that it should be for that now what you are doing you are using god for all things all things should be used for him but you are using god for everything else so up to now he has developed this topic of trying to gradually grow through gaining little comforts and this thing because you can't all at a time leave purify the mind intellect contemplate now in the fourth uh, fourth ad uh, brahmana of the first adhyaya we are still in the first adhyaya of the madukanda he just introduces the same topic but then here he takes off 
he takes off and tries to more openly talk about the infinite. He was here and there touching in other places of Sastamedha and all that also. But here he is more openly coming out, say, you should choose only that. You should choose only that. So what happens is, Last week we saw 4-7, that's what I'm going to start, 4-7. I cannot walk, I cannot walk with my tongue, right? I have to walk with my legs or sometimes with hands, not with my tongue, right? So legs have a purpose, hands to pick up. They do their duty. Eyes to see. Ears to hear. Each one has a purpose. Right? Now, these various actions to various limbs, organs of action, organs of perception, various of them are trying to so me, they are coordinated efforts. I see, mind says go, legs take you. Legs take you. So all these various things try to serve me. This simple language, Sri Shankara puts, wherever there's an assembly, it's meant for somebody else. House is an assembly. Car is an assemblage. It's meant for somebody else to serve. So this, like, nobody even thinks how it moves. Dead body also has legs. It doesn't move. We don't think how it moves. At best, sometimes you may feel prana or life moving. Right? And then hands. And then our Shastras say, each power is different. Vishnu is the presiding deity of Pada. Indra is the presiding deity of ants. Sun is the presiding deity of eyes. Space is the presiding deity of this. Then you go on worshipping those deities. I'm, I'm having a doubt I will have a track. So every day morning I have been told to chant Aditya Hrudayam, but little more PhD people, Indrakshi Stotra. There is a Stotra called Indrakshi Stotra, right? For eyes. Right? So like that, various deities are there. Various deities are there. If you think they are all each different one, worship them. Right? You are going on shifting and you do not find a complete solution because your knowledge is partial. Your seeking is partial. How will you get a complete solution? How will you get a complete solution? Right? Supposing Somebody says, sees the light coming through the bulb and put the switch. A servant come from some remote village, only knows that. Electricity goes, bulb goes, it's, he tells, master, bulb gone, replace the bulb. Replace the bulb, electricity gone, you won't get it. Right? So the light in the bulb, the heat in the heater, the breeze in the fan. You see all of them, an illiterate man, to be different powers. The man who knows all of them are electricity, not only knows how to manipulate, goes on every day improvising his conveniences through those electricity. To that electricity, right? So, 4-7 says, 
you same white ala same white ala it prana neva prano nama when it is breathing it's called prana vadan what when it is talking it's called tang pashyan chachuhu seeing eyes shrunvan srotram right manvane manvane manaha when thinking mind you see all of them differently quote to them your life is fractionalized you want fullness you should see it is one white layer functioning through them and try to do upasana of that but that is also partial satyam it is good satyam but it is still inert it dependent on something else this prana this prana this uh, what to call it udgita hiranyagarbha is dependent on something else brahman katopanishad says na pranena na apanena matyaha jivati man doesn't live by either prana or apana itarena to jivati he because they both depend on something else and through that you live yogis can stop breathing for long periods even months and years but still you live because life is there without life even even if you are having all intact you will not live so that life is brahman know that first know that very important first know that second all the time hold on to that third see that all that alone as everything else first to know that second all the time be associated with that third see that alone everywhere that alone everywhere. right so you should see it in totality that is what 147 tells you and therefore it says do not do upasana to vishnu pada indra hasta sun this do brahman all will go there there is a very famous usage in bhagavatam all the time it says you pour water to the roots it goes to the entire tree you pour water to the roots it goes to the entire tree so you try to who come to brahman all these will serve because it says bhaya tapati surya out of his fear sun god gives you energy and heat bhaya tapati bhaya avati vayu out of fear vayu gives you breeze bhaya dahati pavakah out of his fear fire burns and you are quoting them why don't you quote him directly so that all of them serve you why don't you quote him directly so that all of them serve you right monday fasting for shiva tuesday fasting for angaraka wednesday fasting for buddha knowledge thursday guru friday lakshmi saturday shri bhagwan sunday surya right go on fraction raising it where is your mind's concentration see all of them as brahman then what happens when you see surya bhagwan you will do automatically namaskar but you know it is brahman by your trying to get out of individualities you are not decreeing them in fact their status is elevated when you see surya bhagwan you do namaskar and say this is brahman 
when you stamp on air, you know, especially in India, even on the stage when people go, they touch the stage, do namaskar and go. By mistake, my leg kicks this, I do this. Why? For us, everything is divine. You understand? Everything is divine. So see the Lord in all, all in the Lord. That's the, uh, this thing, it will come in one and one four ten. It will come next. See, Lord in all, all in the Lord. Lord in all, 10th chapter Gita. All in the Lord, 11th chapter Gita. Right? So it says, you must try to invoke the Upasana to this Brahman. Atma Eva Upasanta. Atma Brahman, your own self. Upasita, go to that, invoke that. Because all these are fractionals, you will only get fract uh, you know, fractional experience. You want full experience? Quote Brahman, quote Atma. Atma Eva Upasana. Why Atma is so great? Eight says it because it's greater than wealth, it's greater than wife, it's greater than children. That will come in detail. In the two four, yeah, that is the famous this thing, Maitreya Brahmana. Yeah, not Jaya Kama, not Jaya, Jaya, Kamaya, Jaya, Priyam Bhavati, not Patyuk Kamaya, Patik Priyam Bhavati, not for the sake of husband, the husband is dear, husband is dear, normal surface meaning. Because he gives you happiness. The moment he fights with you, he does it, you say, go to heaven. Right? You say, go to heaven. He is dear to you because he gives you happiness. That is superficial meaning. But there is a greater meaning. Your own self is in him. And your self is dearer to you. So you, he is dearer to you. Why my self is dearer to me? Everything that I want, everything that I do is for this self. Why? I love it. Why do you love? Do you love something that doesn't give you happiness? You love this most because it's maximum happiness. You love this most because this is maximum happiness. Right? And this self is in the other. Therefore, I love them too. Therefore, I love them because all are myself, the maximum happiness. Therefore, eight says that because it's greater than all, you should know that. And then in between nine, People say, through Brahma Vidya, you will become all. How is it you become all? That is answered in 10. Tadahuku, Brahma Vidya, Vidyaya, Sarvam, Bhavishyanta. Through Brahma Vidya, you become all. How do you become all through Brahma Vidya? It says, because Brahma Va Yadamakra Asi. Initially, there was only Brahma. Initially, there was only Brahma. Why? Why cannot be there be more than two? Please think. Why only should Brahma be, be there? Why cannot there be two, three gods? If two, three gods are there, there is space between them. So therefore, they are finite, number one. Because there is space. They are finite, number one. Number two, gods are two, three. They are in space. So space was there before them. Who created that space? Who created that space? Right? So, God, Brahman has to be only one. 
Brahma Eva is a Bakra Asi. So if you know Brahma, you know everything. When I know gold, I know all the arguments. When I know water, I know all the waves and the bubbles. I know all the waves and the bubbles. I now realize why our Swamis say, don't put in silent mode. Completely put it off. I put in silent mode. Still message is coming, ting, ting, coming. Next week I will do that. Okay. Right? So you should know Brahman, which is yourself, so that you know all to be yourself, all to be yourself, yourself to be all. This is beautifully explained in another chapter that is coming. In another chapter that is coming. How beautiful, you know, how systematically my one person whom I am attached to is Nitya. She is there. Right? She will appreciate this logic. Right? So you are, you should ask me, are you you are also attached, is it? I am very much attached. Right? I am very much attached. Right? So by knowing this, how are all your problems solved? Now, up to now we have been discussing matter. Preceding deities, matter, preceding deities. Matter seen clearly, murtam. Preceding deities not seen, amurtam. Gross, subtle. Gross and subtle. Now, these two both are coordinating within themselves ice gross power in that sun coordinated you get the vision years gross space subtle coordinated you get sound so when there is a gross there is a subtle they are coordinated to serve somebody else one two since truth or the original cause has to be one. When there is a gross and a subtle, they should have a substratum. When there is a gross and a subtle, they should have a substratum. That is Brahman. What is Brahman? I don't understand. You don't have to understand Brahman. Where is gross? Where is subtle? Without you. You experience gross. You experience subtle because you are there. Oh, even if I die, it is there. Even if it is die, it is there. Firstly, firstly, when you die, it is there. Have you seen anybody who has experienced death? Have you seen anybody who has experienced death? Others say is dead because he has gone out. Because this comes in beautifully in Bhagavatam, where you know Hiranyaka, Hiranyaka's uh, people are all weeping, he died. Yama himself comes as a teacher, Yama Gita. He says, what stupid people you are. The man who, whom you were all the time thinking, he's still there. Why are you weeping? If you are weeping, the man is not there. He is somebody else who, you, whom you have never seen. Whom you have never seen. So that one whom you have never seen is the real person. He never dies. He leaves this and goes, takes another. Right? So Murtam, please listen. I am not interested in rushing after because the few people here, the few people here, uh, you know, I want them to understand every bit and apply to their life. You understand? 
So murtam is gross. Murtam is gross form. Amurtam is subtle. Amurtam is subtle. Now, this gross and subtle are combined. There should be a third entity to combine them also. Science says that because they are all science students, I have without studying anything bluff. I learned the art of bluffing. Right? When two things are in static condition or uniform motion, there should be a third entity to propel them into action. So gross and subtle are mutually opposite. Who are combining them? Who are supporting them? Whom are they serving? It's all you. I know them. I am there without them because in sleep you were not aware of neither gross nor subtle. In sleep you were neither aware of gross nor subtle. You are still there. Without them you can be there. Without you they cannot be there. Because gross disintegrates and becomes five elements. Subtle has already gone when you are there. Without them you can be there. Without you, they cannot be there. So that which is common in all is the real subject, that is you, that is self, that is Brahman. Therefore, Atma Eva Upasita. Knowing that you are never put up with any loss. If I know everything is gold, even ornaments break, I only be happy, I can make a new ornament, new design. If you don't know that, like children, when you know the heart, sugar doll heart is broken, they cry. My heart is broken. Because they are children, they don't know. So when you know this Brahman, you know everything is that. Therefore, what to gain, what to lose, you are the one who supports all gains, all losses, murtam, amurtam, that come later. But I have to tell you to connect this, how this Brahman is important. In all expressions, expressions of organs of action, organs of perception, cross and subtle, it is the Brahman only, his only expressions, both gross, both subtle, both gross, both subtle, both with form, both without form, they are all Brahman only. Right? This I can understand, but I can't understand the joy and sorrow is also Brahman. Honor and dishonor also is Brahman. That is where my problem. Joy is Brahman. Sorrow is not Brahman. Honor is Brahman. Dishonor is not Brahman. No chance. No chance. If you accept one the other goes with it. It's a package. It's a package. When you want honor, you can't escape dishonor. When you want joy, you can't escape sorrow. When you are Brahman, they are my expressions. Joy is my expression. Sorrow is my expression. I am not afraid of anything. I am, I am attached. So what? So what? If I am attacked, so what? I am independent of everything. I am independent of everybody's opinion. I do not want anybody's appreciation or, uh, you know, signing what I am. You must get this independence. I am independent of everything. I am independent of all experiences, joy, sorrow, honor. Dishonor, they are all my expressions. They come and go, nothing stays permanent. They come and go, nothing stays permanent. Let them come and go. Somebody said, you will die next year. He said, I am very happy. Because I, was, oh, I am very curious for a long time, what will be my next life? So I will see there, you know. 
I'm very happy. So this is 4, 7, 4, 8, I said 4, 9, 4, 10 tells you Brahma Eva Yadamakra Asit. Everything was Brahman alone. If everything was Brahman, from gold iron cannot come. So all are Brahman only. From gold iron cannot come. So if Brahman alone was there, what comes from Brahman is all Brahman alone. Therefore, knowing Brahman nine, you know all. Knowing gold, you know all earring chains and bangle. Knowing water, you know the ocean waves and bubbles. Knowing the waker, you know all the dream characters. Right? And that Brahman is you, Aham Brahmasmi. That is this that Mahavakya comes in this. One or ten that Mahavakya is. What is a Mahavakya? A Vakya is a sentence that has an utility, meaning. Right? That has a mean. Dog. Mailapur. Dog. Mailapur. Car. Right? Police constable. What is the meaning that you got? If it has to give you meaning, it has to be a sentence. I went to my law court, my car ran on a dog, and I was charged by a policeman. You understand? So, a sentence is that which gives you utility. And all our sentences are give you small things. That which gives you God itself, Brahman itself, total happiness and security, is called the greatest, biggest, that's called Mahavakya. These Mahavakyas are four in number. First is called Upadesha Vakya, Pragnanam Brahma, which comes in uh, Aitre Upanishad, Rugveda. Second is Ayamatma Brahma, Mandukya, Adharvan Veda. Third is Tattvamasi, Chandogya, Samaveda. The last is this, Yajurveda, Aham Brahmasmi. The first is called Upadesha Vakya, saying Pragnana, no, not Upadesha Vakya, uh, Nirdesha Vakya, definition, I am Atma Brahman. Then Anusandhan Vakya, bridge connecting, I am Atma Brahman. Then Upadesha Vakya, Tattvamasi, you are that. Final experience, Anubhava Vakya, Aham Brahma. That comes here in 1, 4, 10. Aham Brahma asmi, yo anyam devan upaste. See, this whole para, this is the beauty. I am going to put. First sentence was beautiful, last is beautiful. You are Brahman. You are that Atma, which you should know. Now, without that, you anyam devan upaste, anyaha asavu, anyaha akamasmi, iti nasa veda. One who worships other gods, that god is different, I am different. That man doesn't know. He simply says, saha na veda, he doesn't know. And then what happens if he doesn't know? Gods treat him as a pursuit, goat, cattle. Why? A shepherd has 40 goats. Every day he will come. One missing, he, he cannot sleep. One missing. So gods, they need belly, food. Devotees bring and give. One day no devotees came or that devotee didn't, God are counting. So you go and give them. And you don't give them without their giving. So they give you in turn. So Anna Mati, one feeds the other. This is interdependence all the time. Why do you want it? You are Brahman, it says. This is interdependence all the time. I do this to you, you do this to me. I smile, you smile. 
आई प्रॉन यू प्रॉन वाइड यू वन उपनिषद से उपनिषद से children you need you want a child to be born you know why i want my me to live forever my child will be only me therefore i want a child and you want a wife because otherwise you you cannot you are not eligible for rituals i have no problem i don't do anything because no wife you understand you need a wife so well why Uh, children and then pantam uh, uh, lokas lokas getting swarga loka brahma loka right and then agni fire devas this whole world of desires are made up of only these five human well divine well that's one devas whom you know wife child lokas these all all are finite all are finite. why do you want this this is the substance of the fifth chapter which is following it whole world is made up of seven types of food first common food would you eat then the next for devas two types of food then three food prana kept for himself mind speech and fire because through them he can produce any amount through them he can produce any any amount my mind speech is veda and through fire and rituals he can produce anything so he kept three for himself one is for animals seven types of food he describes the seven types of food not for you to master this to tell you all this world of triputi food was so ah sat parado tamo guna all these are made up of triputi the uh, triad right finite anna mati mutually one needs the other go beyond it. and in the 60 he says the same thing again 60 says the same thing again. the whole world is nama rupa action nama rupa action ornament gold name form and action to modify but it's gold only water wave bubble nama rupa action right there is no substance in that the substance is only brahman the substance is only brahman therefore brahman alone you should do upasana if you don't do you become a pashu you become a pashu so brahman how will you know through gnana how will i get gnana first chapter of first kanda is over to it i finished four i finished five i finished six right you read go and read i have not left any point second we have to start only one more point here it says all your caste brahmana kshatriya vaishya shudra and all your dharmas they also belong to this finite range this finite range go beyond them discover brahman how to know through gnana how to get gnana next chapter next week right so now we will do 5 minutes see any time you can it my experience i have not seen the word give the commitment i say 5 minutes before i'll stop and do it works like it i have to get up morning 
I am a fellow who gets up at 10 o'clock only because I sleep at one, in between two hours sleep won't come. 10 o'clock. But if I had to go to airport, I tell everybody they will forget. I put alarm, it won't work, but I get up. Who does this? God. Now let us do the action. Because it's today. Aradhana day for Sri Sadhguru. We will do the archana alone. Quick archana. I will chant. You give these books to them. I will chant the archana. You, uh, you offer the flowers to Suchi. And uh, Arati, Satish will do today. Satish will do the Arati. Right? Shall I start? Shall I start? Samasta Janakalyani, Niratam Karuna Mayam, Namami Chin Mayam Devam, Sadgurum Brahmadikaram, Um Ajaya Namaha, Um Abhyaya Namaha, Um Avinashine Namaha, Um Achintya Namaha, Um Aparameya Namaha, Um Advitya Namaha, Um Aniketa Namaha, Om Anushasana Priyaya Namaha, Om Antasakshini Namaha, Om Antarkyamini Namaha, Om Anandaya Namaha, Om Atmasarumaya Namaha, Om Andrabhasa Vidyuttamaya Namaha, Om Ishwaraya Namaha, Om Udharakdaya Namaha, Om Ustahagayakaya Namaha, Om Yekasmi Namaha, Om Bhumkara Vidhi Namaha, Om Karuna Svakaraya Namaha, Om Karma Parayana Namaha, Om Kara Tita Namaha, Om Kailanya Svarupaya Namaha, Om Kritatmani Namaha, Om Kritakratyaya Namaha, Om Gita Jnana Yajna Pracharakaya Namaha, Om Gurave Namaha, Om Guna Tita Namaha, Om Grandhakte Namaha, Om Inmaya Namaha, Om Sinna Santaya Namaha, Om Jagadatmani Namaha, Om Jagat Sakshini Namaha, Om Janapriya Namaha, Om Jitendriya Namaha, Om Jiva Brahmaikya Namaha, Om Jiva Nukaya Namaha, Om Jirna Mandiru Dharakaya Namaha, Om Dakovana Sishya Namaha, Om Tapasvini Namaha, Om Tapanantana Namaha, Om Kirtatvarupaya Namaha, Om Kiyasvini Namaha, Om Dehatvitaya Namaha, Om Gandhatvitaya Namaha, Om Rudanitayaya Namaha, Om Dhammatamstavakaya Namaha, Om Dhimadvi Namaha, Om Dhiraya Namaha, Om Thayriyapradaya Namaha, Om Narayanaya Namaha, Om Nijananda Yamaha, Om Nirapecha Yamaha, Om Nisraha Yamaha, Om Nirupama Yamaha, Om Nirpikalpa Yamaha, Om Nirupama Yamaha, Om Nirpikalpa Yamaha, Om Nitya Yamaha, Om Nirindyana Yamaha, Om Parama Yamaha, Om Parapramani Yamaha, Om Parama Yamaha, Om Bhavakaya Namaha, Om Kutsurtamaya Namaha, Om Prasalinathani Namaha, Om Bhavasekirahitaya Namaha, Om Bhavakaya Namaha, Om Bandhamutakaya Namaha, Om Brahmanishaya Namaha, Om Brahmaparaya Namaha, Om Bhayanasinaya Namaha, Om Udhani Namaha, Om Mahavakyopadeshakaya Namaha, Om Mahatshaya Namaha, Om Madhuratukavaya Namaha, Om Manoharai Namaha, Om Atmane Namaha, Om Yedhavini Namaha, Om Yedhavini Namaha, Om Yeknakuke Namaha, Om Lokapasitaya Namaha, Om Atmane Namaha, Om Yipavi Namaha, Om Vinodakriyaya Namaha, Om Vinashenaya Namaha, Om Vitaragaya Namaha, Om Vedanta Vedyaya Namaha, Om Shantaya Namaha, Om Shanti Pradaya Namaha, Om Shanti Pradaya Namaha, Om Siddha Tattvaya Namaha, Om Siddhi Bhara Taragaya Namaha, Om Nutriyaya Namaha, Om Sanyakini Namaha, Om Sanyakini Namaha, Om Satchidananda Rupaya Namaha, Om Satchidananda Namaha, 
ओम सर्वहित चिंतकाय नम ओम सत्य संकल्पाय नम ओम संतुष्टाय नम ओम साधवे नम ओम सुमन से नम ओम सुखदे नम ओम स्वयं ज्योतिषे नम ओम स्थित प्रज्ञाय नम ओम क्षमाशीलाय नम ओम ज्ञान मुक्तये नम ओम ज्ञान योगिने नम ओम ज्ञान तृप्ताय नम तद्विशा 